A new poll found Florida voters prefer Trump to be president over their own governor, Ron DeSantis. Ouch. The media playing at the idea that Ron is on the ropes. I think Trumpers are planting these pieces, by the way. So we have the making of a great debate on Team Trump. Former 2016 Trump campaign manager Corey Lewandowski and on Team DeSantis, Republican political consultant Constantine Carrard. And I have to say, I love that Carrard is doing this, but it is meaningful that DeSantis doesn't really have his own guys yet. All right. Topic number one, uh, which is do we really believe that DeSantis is on the ropes? Corey Lewandowski, first word to you as to why we should believe what we read. Chris, I, I don't believe it. Look, Governor DeSantis still has to get in this race. But the truth is, the more Donald Trump is in the media, the more his lead grows in Republican primary voters. We've seen Donald Trump consume mass media now for the last week. Some could argue it's good. Some could argue it's bad. But the polling data indicates that he is getting votes from every other candidate who's potentially getting into this race. They're coming to Trump right now. That's a good thing for the former president. I hear... Constantine, from someone in the know from your party, that DeSantis is getting all kinds of PAC pledges for him to run from big name people throwing tens of millions of dollars at his PAC and that he's definitely getting in. What do you think? Uh -oh. Here is an anticipation of him running. He's done a terrific job in Florida. And you know, it's always kind of funny that you're getting calls to get out of a race you haven't even gotten into yet. So you know, I, I, I anticipate he runs. Obviously, we hope he'll run. Uh, and we think that when he gets the, the bump from that, we're not really concerned about polls after a week of, of like Corey saying, I mean, it's saturation level coverage. And we saw what that did for Trump in 2016. It was like a billion dollars or something worth of free television time. Um, but DeSantis has a, a great story. He's a terrific messenger. There's still a lot of America that hasn't seen him yet. So to be doing as well as he is and still not having really even been introduced to the whole country is, is he's got a lot of upside. He scares you, doesn't he, Lewandowski? He scares you. Not Constantine with the great hair, but you're scared of DeSantis. You, you're scared of him. He's got all the same positions as Trump and none of the baggage. Chris, I remember 2015 and 2016 so well. 16 of the greatest candidates the country had ever known. Some say that the hardest Republican primary ever to take place with governors and senators and uh, elected officials, br literally brain surgeons in the race. And Donald Trump vanquished them all. When he came down that escalator, the race was over one by one, starting with Governor Gilmore, all the way through John Kasich and ultimately Ted Cruz. They fell by the wayside. When the media said Donald Trump met his match at Marco Rubio, Donald Trump carried the state of Florida in the Republican primary. And I think what you know and what we have seen is that Donald Trump has such a loyal base. They will never leave him. And that is a problem. And look, the poll today is a bigger problem for Governor DeSantis because the people who know him the best and know Donald Trump the best right now, for whatever reason, are choosing Donald Trump by about a 15 point margin in a head to head I, race. I, I, and I even think, in a multi candidate yeah. race, it's still a lead for Donald yeah. Trump. So it's early, but there I should think be Corey's some right that Trump has a low. Yeah, Trump Trump has a high floor. The problem with Trump is that he has a very low ceiling, and that is where voters are are going to have to make their decision. DeSantis has proven what he can do in terms of the electoral map. He you saw what he did to just destroying Democrats in Florida. Republicans want to win, and at the end of the day, we've been promised an awful lot of winning. We haven't gotten it. Um, so I don't doubt that Trump's numbers will never drop below a certain point, and he'll have ups and downs as he has good weeks and bad weeks. But at the end of the day, Republicans need a candidate who can win in November, not just, you know, early primary states. November is what it's all about. And I think Republicans are going to be very practical when it comes to saying, hey, I like Trump's policies. I mean, nobody wants $5 gas and $6 eggs. But we can't fix that unless we win the White House. And only one of these guys gives us a really good chance to do that, and that's Governor DeSantis. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of NewsNation's fact-driven coverage.